say the University of Michigan's Ricardo Macon and the Adrian, um, what is it, Adrian College, right? Yep. That's, okay. I just want to make sure I said the right one. Uh, Mr. Dylan Hubbard, as we get ready for tip-off here, it is going to be between Sandy Cuthrell and number 32, Logan Hook, as it is going to be the maroon and white for Cass City this evening and the white and uh, orange and black trim, the Halloween colors for Vassar, as it is going to be Cass City winning this tip-off, and they're going to move left right on your FM dial. Great facilities here. They've done a great job on this gymnasium over here in Vassar. If you have not got to check it out, the floor is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful floor. Except for that over and back as we get a first shot here. Hayden Horn going up, and he is going to go downtown to put him up 3-0. Cass City on top early on. 7.34 left to go here in this first quarter of play. Hey, back. hey, why not? You might as well take that three off the bat. Get, uh, get a little respect. Yeah, absolutely. Luke Albrecht starting things off here as he's going to be along the baseline. Flips it over to Hook. Hook being guarded here by number three. Shank has a little bit of a change on the Cass City starting lineup from the last time we saw them. Yeah. Hayden Horn wasn't a starter, but hey, that's a heck of a way to start off the game for a uh, starter that we have not seen yet this season. Hook going to drive this one. Excuse me, not Hook. It's going to be Hubbard going to be driving this one. Going to come up empty. It's going to be rebounded by Cass City back the other way. Stern's going to drive this. Lost the handle on Ricardo Macon. Maybe get a hand on that one as it is going to be deflected, going to bounce, and it looks like it went off Vassar last, so it will be Cassidy Ball staying down here to our right. Yeah, good effort to get back on defense. Uh, Ricardo Macon going up, getting a little piece of that ball, getting it on out of bounds. Inbound pass here, Hayden Horn. Kind of picked up that ball a little bit, maybe got away with the carry, but nonetheless, they didn't see it, so that's all that matters. Cut throughout with it now as he gets it over to the corner. Hard Ooh. hit here. It's going to be Hook running into Kendall Amthus as Amthus goes to the ground. He is able to get back up and uh, Hook give him a little bit of help there as well. 6.46 left to go. Hook's first of the evening. Team first. Still 3-0 ball game. Cassidy on top. Going to yeah. inbound this. Hard hit there. Right to the right of the Cassidy bench. Trying to get in on the three-point party here. Going to come up empty. It's going to be oh. cut throughout. It's going to go out of bounds. And... Hubbard grab it onto that one, and it's going to go out of bounds off of Hubbard, so it will stay down here for Cass City. So another break there for the Red Hawks. Yeah, Dylan Hubbard not being able to control that ball off the rim, but uh, nonetheless, Cass City getting a good break here and uh, shot from the corner from Anthes, way long. Way long, going to go right into the hands of Ricardo Macon. You see those uh, hands? He's showing off there. He's saying, hey, I can catch the ball <laughs> as well. Macon going to bring this one up here for the Balkans. Going to hand this off over to Albrecht. Albrecht right over top of the hammer of the Vassar Balkans logo. Luke Albrecht now with it as he is dribbling it back towards our sideline. He's going to get over into the corner. Gets it down low right at the top of the key here. Nice shot there by Hook as he's able to fill it up and in. Logan Hook put them on the board. Vassar now trailing 3-2 with 6.03 left to go here in this first quarter play. It's going to be Hayden Horn now with it as he hands that off over to Cuthrell. Sandy Cuthrell flips it over to Horn. Horn hands that off to Anthus. Anthus now driving this one right at the top of the perimeter. Going to get it down low and puts up the short shot here. He's going to be shanked. Going to be no good. Rebounded by the Balkans. Luke Albrecht going to bring this down for Vassar. Again, still trailing 3-2 here. Game number one of our two games coming up this week. Of snow days, we have to make up games as well. And he's driving <laughs> this. A be lot of them. No good. Hayden Horn going to come up with the rebound. As Cass City bringing this one back down to our right. Going to get it inside to Stern. Stern puts that shot up. He's going to be fouled on the way up. Luke Stern going to go to the line, try to make this an old-fashioned three-point play as it is 5-2 with 5.22 left to go here in this first quarter. You know, Scotty, we talk about this quite often, but uh, especially this year, a lot of and ones being able to fall, and it just shows the, the poise, the body control, and the strength to get it up there. But... Uh, Stern with the free throw off the back of the air, no good. It's going to be tipped back, though, and Cuthrell is going to end up with it. A little fadeaway shot there, kind of a awkward one-footed shot there as he was able to get that to go. So they make that a uh, four-point drive on that side of the floor to make it now 7-2 with 5.07 left to go. As it is going to be Ricardo with it, making as... Trying to find something inside. They cannot get any penetration. As I say nice, that, nice. they're able to get it. Hubbard drives that to the bucket, fills that up, and a nice pass to Ricardo on the streaking Hubbard as he is able to get out the glass. 7 4 is your score now. Yeah, nice pass there by uh, Macon as he just eyed it up, waited for the play to develop, and found Hubbard. Hayden Horn once again back of the iron this time. No good. Stern jumping right in front of Ricardo, trying to take that one away. Ricardo's going to get it. He's going to drive it. He's going to be fouled by. Horn and they drive right at the mid-court area. 
So they're going to be inbounding this right here in front of us, actually right in front of a couple of a heck of a coaches here, Coach Fabro and uh, Coach Scott Cuthrell. Coach Fabro had some uh, nice squads yeah, yeah. yesterday. Not, not too shabby. <laughs> not at all, as it is going to be Cass or excuse me, Vassar with the ball. Ricardo putting up a big long three here. No good on that one. Would have tied up the game. Hayden Horn going to come up with the rebound. Cuthrell going to drive this one. He's going to bounce the body off. Albrecht going to oh, go to the wow. floor. Hook is. Cuthrell is still down. Grabbing at the midsection. Actually, he's holding the arm area. I thought he was grabbing at his midsection, but holding that right uh, wrist area pretty gingerly there. But uh, getting back up. See if he is going to come off. Does not look like it. He's going to come back down to this side of the floor. As uh, Coach Fernald asked him if he's all right. Still grabbing at it. Yeah, so we will uh, definitely keep an eye on that. And uh, Santa Cuthrell here as it is going to be Vassar Ball after that turnover. It's going to be Hubbard with it, stopping. So he flips that over to Ian Hubbard. Luke Albrecht with it, thought about the three. Sand and Sane right there with him, trying to get it down low. Ricardo is right there. They're just going to be on horn again. It's looking like we're going to get a check in here of Bryce Bernald, who I believe was the former he was, starter. He was, yes, he was. So Hayden going to be taking a seat early on here as he's sitting at two falls. And uh, coach's son, Bryce Bernal, going to be checking on in. Going to be inbounded over to the corner to hook. Hook flips that back over to Albrecht right in front of the Cass City bench. Going to hand this one off as Ian Hubbard did have it. Quickly gets it back over to Albrecht. Albrecht back over to Hubbard. The Ian variety over to Albrecht. Puts up the long three shot. No good off the... Side of the iron goes right into the hands of Anthus. Anthus bringing this up, gets over to Fernald. Fernald now going to drive this, tries to get it over to Cuthrell. It's going to be knocked out of bounds off of the hand of Albrecht. So we'll stay down here for the Red Hawks. It's going to be inbounded by Anthus. Right in front of sports editor Adam Smith, who is here this evening, totally ignoring us, giving us a cold <laughs> shoulder when he comes in. He says, no, thank you. <laughs> Vassar in a 3-2 zone here. Trying to uh, trying to make Cassidy uh, work for it a little bit. Cuthrell now with it. He's going to just streak down the lane. Puts up a floater. No good. He's going to get his own board somehow. He's going to be fouled from behind. It looks like Ian Hubbard is going to be the guilty party on this one. The immediate second you put your hands up is usually the time that uh, – it's not going to go so swell. First shot by Cuthrell. Rattles around. Drops on in to extend the lead 8-4. to four. I want to thank, again, Hills and Dales General Hospital. They'll meet you at the corner. Go Red Hawk. And also DS Services of Cass City, your primary source for all your grain bins, dryers, material handling equipment for your farm or commercial use. Solid DS Services. Second shot here. Get some love off the front of the rim. Very Getting soft go on rims. In. What's that? Got, got some soft rims. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah. Got some substitutions. Uh, Weisenberger here for Vassar. Also in Tony Christ in as well. And, or Chris, sorry. And I believe number 12 checked in, yep. Gideon Dom. Dom, who is nice a heck pick of a and player. Roll. And he's going to drive this one. Had the wide open layup. Somehow got his own offensive board. Nice job. Dylan Hubbard with the three back of the iron. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Fernald. Taken away by Dom. Actually, Fernald's going to end up with it. He's going to hold on to it. Rubel ends up with it. And just flips it back over to Cuthrell. Sandy Cuthrell now going to drive it. It's going to go face to face with Dom. Floats it up over top of his fingertips. Makes that one go. It's going to be an 11 4 game now. 2.28 left to go here in this first quarter of play. Who was that? I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Gideon, uh, who scored? Yeah. Sandin. Okay, that's what I thought. But... It is going to be Tony Chris now with it as he's looking over to his right side over in the far corner. Goes in the hands of Hubbard. Dom wants it. Look at that big, huge mismatch. Dylan Hubbard going to drive it, and they're going to call the foul on the floor. So no shot attempt. See who they get this against. Gideon, you can't blame Gideon here. He's He's got a huge mismatch. Wait a second. They're, they were giving it to Chris uh, for Vassar. They announced it uh, for Vassar, so that would have been an offensive foul. Obviously it wasn't, so it is the first on yeah. Stern. So there you go. What were you saying, though? I was going to say there's a big mismatch with uh, Dom, Dom and Fernald down low. Dom wanted the ball, and he nobody, nobody saw him but Shank on him now. Yeah, Shank on him a little bit more right there as far as the length goes. So they changed that up quickly as we're going to get a couple check-ins. Albrecht going to come right back in, and Chris going to be taking a seat. 
Checking in for Cassidy Cuthrell and number 22, Zach Beecher. I'm he sorry, was. Beecher. Cat Cuthrell is already in my fault. Oh, yeah. It looked like he was coming in. Number 24 checking in, uh, Jacob Preston for the Vulcans. USA over Carroll, boys at half, 37-17. to 17. Oh. USA scary USA rolling. squad. Jump Allie for it. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Wow, nope. They're going to say Sandin pushed off. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Pushed out of the way. Whatever the case yep. might be, it was a push call against Sandin as he's going to pick up his first of the evening. It's going to be the fourth for Cass City, 11-4 ball game. But a nice job there. Yeah. Nice play if it would have worked out as it did go down. Would have extended this lead to nine, but still just an 11-4 game as Cass City looking to cut into this. It's going to be Weisenberger bringing this one down. Noah Weisenberger as he hands that off over to Albrecht. Nice pass down low to a streaking Dom. It's going to come up empty, but Weisenberg going to get the rebound off to the right of the basket. No good. Quickly up to Cuthrell. Cuthrell the other way. He's going to drive this off the backboard, up and in. 13 4. 104 left to go here in this first quarter. Quick first quarter so far, as uh, it is going to be the Albrecht now with it. Back the other way for Vassar. Ian Hubbard with it as he flips it over. To the hands of number 24, Jacob Preston. Long three-point shot here. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Cass City. Goes into the hands of number 22, Beecher. Back the other way for Nald. Gets it over into the corner to Stern. Long three-point shot from the top of the perimeter for Cuthrell. Off the rim, backboard, no good. Rebounded here by Cass City. For Nald back with it. He's going to get it down low to Cuthrell. Cuthrell going to drive. Fills that one up and in. Extends this lead now to 11, 15-4. 25 seconds left to go. Cassidy just having their way with Vassar right now. As easy as it gets right there. Run them up and down the floor, right? That's all you got to do, it seems yeah. like. It's uh, there as uh, another miscommunication right there for Vassar yeah. as yeah, they Vassar. cough up the ball. Vassar just not on the same page with one another right now. Checking back in is going to be Dylan Hubbard taking his seat. He's going to be number 21, Noah Weisenberger. Go Red Hawks invest in your future with Harrison Company of Cassidy. See Dave Weiler of Harrison Company. Going to be inbound here. It's going to be for Nald right in front of the Cass City bench. Starting out strong is Cuthrell. Cuthrell, 10 points already here for the Cass City Redhawks out of their 15. Five seconds left to go. 15 4. Cass City with the ball. Going to get this last shot of the first quarter. Rue will put up the three point shot. No good. Dom's going to get the rebound, and that is going to be the end of your first quarter of play. It is Cass City on top. 15 4. We're going to come back with second quarter action here in 30 seconds. It is your Classic Rock on 2 Game of the Week. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau Insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the David Soper Agency and Wayne Sayers Agency, both in Cairo, or the Deb Croswick Agency in Unionville. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. And we are back with the action here on Classic Rock I-92. Want to thank some uh, other great sponsors. Obviously, your halftime show coming up brought to you by your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food. It's fan food. And I got to give them a shout out because I'm a big fan of the green shake. I'm not going to call out the other, the other place, but the green colored shake. I went to a Dairy Queen. My wife wanted a Blizzard while we were there. I'm like, I'm going to try the mint shake that they have. <laughs> Tell you what, man. I think I uh, found a, a new favorite. G-O-O-D, huh? It's, it's, it's uh, pretty good. End of one, Deckerville on top of Dryden, 11-10. And uh, also we had halftime, uh, USA on top of Carroll, 37 17. But stick around your halftime show. Brought to you by local DQ Grill and Show coming up right after this quarter as it is going to be. Vassar starting things off here. Luke Albrecht with it. He's going to pick up that pick there. The screen from number 32, Logan Hook. Going to get Dylan Hubbard. Hubbard going to drive this one. It's going to be knocked away oh, by Stern. Oh, man. But they are going to get the call on Stern. That will be his second of the evening and going to be the team fifth. As it again, still 15 4 game. Good positioning there by Stern. I thought he had all ball. Not the case. <clears throat> Could get the whistle blowing. Dylan Hubbard heading to the line for two shots. First shot is up, and rattles around the rim. Cuts it down to a 10-point lead. 
As I want to also thank uh, another sponsor, the Mary Psychological Services, the only local agency offering counseling and applied behavioral analysis. Check out their care or Cass City location. Call 872-1800. Try to cut this to single digits here. Good. Robert sinks that one. Make this now a 15-6 ball game with 736 left to go. Stern took a seat. Cuthrell back in here for Cass City. Going to be bringing this one up. It is going to be for Nall for the Red Hawks. Trying to get it down low. There's some miscommunication. The other side is Vassar going to get the turnover here. Hubbard just going to drive this one. High off the glass, no good. It's going to get kicked back. We'll see who get this call against. And that call is going to be against Hook. As that will be an offensive board, I guess. Or not offensive board, of offensive foul. Check out the guy coming in, man. He's got, a, he's got a mohawk, or is that just high face? It's just oh. high face, yeah. Oh, okay. Just just high up. Number 51, Blake Kerr, Blake Kerr checking on in here for uh, Logan Hook. He needs to get a mohawk, though. He was he was shooting threes earlier. Kerr was. We'll see what he can do. The oh, big yeah. man from outside. As it is going to be Kansas City big, getting the ball back now. 15-6, 7.06 left to go. Ricardo going to get called here. Quick fall. Got hand happy. That he did. Yep. So they're going to be inbounding this right in front of the scorer's table. I want to thank Koch Financial Design of Vassar, building strategies for your financial future. Good luck, Vassar, from Koch Financial Design. It's going to be Cassidy inbounding this ball. Still at 15, six, seven minutes exactly left to go here in this first half of play. Quick first quarter. We'll see how quick the second quarter goes. Cuthrell going to be handling the ball right now as he's going to hand that one off over to Fernald. As we had a little bit of a late start this evening, the JV game was pretty intense. We'll see if the varsity game can uh, match up to that. So far, hasn't yet, but hey, things can turn around right here as Ricardo getting that all, or excuse me, defensive board after a miss by Sandy Cuthrell. 15 6, going to put up the three. Ian Hubbard, high arc and three, no good. Kerr going to come up with the board, just using that body, pushing his way back. We're going to get a call here against Beecher. Kerr going to go to the line now, so the big man. Using that uh, power down low. You knew it. Uh, you knew it was coming in. He's he's a big body down low, and there's not a whole lot that uh, KC is going to be able to do to uh, to stop him. First shot off, pretty much everything, <laughs> and no back good. Of the iron back of the backboard, uh, off the side of the rim, no good. So stay 15-6 with 6:29 left to go here in the second quarter of play. Remember, there is no let's talk sports tomorrow morning. Back of no. the iron, high up, no good. Beach, you're going to get the rebound here. As it's only going to be Tuesday, we apologize. You have to go through. It's going to have me confused. Yeah, me too. I'm going to want to sleep in a little bit. <laughs> Cuts Rao with it, kicks it out over to Rubel as he gets that out over number 13. Did you, how do you say that? Zeki? Zeki, thank you. 15-6, still your score. As it will be Cassidy inbounding this ball on the baseline right towards this corner over here. Get inbound this over to Beecher. Ball going to go out of bounds off of Cass City. There's no opportunity much. for Vassar here. They yeah. just need to cash in now. Kind of off of Horn's face almost is what it looked <laughs> like. But uh, checking on in is Shank. Landon Shank checking in. Beecher checking out. Now Cuthrell still, still kind of grabbing that right wrist a little bit. So definitely must have aggravated it, uh, whatever it was when he took that hard tumble. Yeah, definitely. Um, keep an eye on that. That's for sure. As Ricardo make it now with it. Going nice to skip pass. past this down low to Kerr. Going to be taken away here by Rubel for the Red Hawks. Back the other way is going to be Hayden Horn. Just trying to skip past it himself. Oh, going to get a travel that's there. That's a lot of steps. <laughs> See, that's the thing is Vassar is forcing these turnovers, making them turn the ball over, but they just cannot cash in when it comes down to uh, the other side of the court. What? Who's, che who's checking in for Cass City here? Number 12, I do not have on the roster. Oh. Can you uh, text uh, oh. Troy? I'll see what we can get. Ball is tipped back. It's not Alex, is it? No. Go out of bounds off Cass City. So Vass are going to hold on to this. Inbounded here by Hubbard as you get it over to Hook in the corner right here in front of us. Albrecht back down low to Hubbard. They go off a couple of hands, and they're going to say that did go off of Vassar. So it will be Cassidy ball. Cassidy going to inbound this one. It's going to be Anthus with it. 
over to Horn. Horn going to bring this one up. Whoa, man. A couple steps <laughs> there, but Cuthrell going to put up the three, take advantage of that no call, and they're going to say that one off of hook. So it's going to stay down here for Cassidy. <laughs> yeah, Horn took, uh, Horn took a few steps. 5-19, 15-6. Inbound pass here. Out to number 12, puts up the three-point shot front of the iron, no good. He's going to get his own rebound. Hold on to it. He's going to skip pass that over to Horn. Horn puts up the shot. No good. Back over to Horn. It is Alex. It didn't look like Alex from here, though, but it is Alex. Okay. So problem solved. We figured that out. Can you add that? I will add that, yeah. And that, again, is going to go off of Vassar. So stay down here for Cass City. So Cass City need to cash in here. As we're going to get a couple check-ins. Ricardo Macon going to be taking a seat. Dylan Hubbard taking a seat. Coming in, number 10, Ian Hubbard. Number 21, Noah Weisenberger. As Kendall Anthus is going to be checking in, or excuse me, inbounding this ball. Going to put that up. It's going to be knocked away by Hubbard. Number three for Cass City, Landon Schenk. Going to get his own missed opportunity. Going to get it back, then put it back up and in. He's going to fill it up. Now 17-6, back to an 11-point game. Student section not uh, being able to get into this game too much here to our left for Vassar as they got one of the more interesting student sections around the area as they're right there in your face. And it's going to be a shot. Nice turnaround here by Dom. And they're going to get a call against Cass City here. We'll see you get that. It's going to be against number three. That'll be against Landon Shank, his first, and the team seventh. So it'll be one and one from, well, they're in the bonus from here on out. Gideon Dom shooting two here for shot up. And that's it. Got it. So this could play in the favor of Vassar for sure as uh, they're sending the bonus right now. Uh, Cassidy sitting at seven falls already. Second Good. shot is up. Make that a nine-point game. 17-8, 420 left to go here in this second quarter play. Cuthrell with it. He's going to run right into... We're going to get a offensive fall here against Cuthrell. Going to say a push-off. Kind of quick there, but... Uh, it, it was. He saw what he saw, apparently. But now it's time for Vassar to check or to uh, take advantage here and cash in. I think it was more the arm kind of coming out. Uh, the extension of the arm is what uh, kind of got him with the charge. Dom with the ball now. Turn around. He's going to put a so shot up. They're going to call that a too travel. Many steps, yep. Vassar just making too many mistakes on this end. Uh, Very. When they get the opportunities to to cash in, they just they can't do it. Uh, it's either a mental miscue like that. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, turnover. I don't know if Vassar has really held Cassidy. Cassidy's made mistakes too, but uh, they only held them to two points thus far in the second. Yeah. So, um, you know, Vassar's. Got the four points that they had that they put up in the uh, first quarter. So, you know, eight points total. But, yeah, very, very interesting to see the game, you know, as sloppy as what it is, I guess, to a certain level. Vass are going to take this one away. Another opportunity. Luke Albrecht, he's going to catch that shoot. Put it up. No good. Rebounded. Got a banner for the ball. Shank going to go down for it. Anthus going to end up with the ball. They're going to call this one against Ian Hubbard. That should be his second of the evening, if I'm not mistaken. We will see. I could be wrong. A lot of three-point shooting going on right now. Cass City, one of seven. Oh. Vassar, zero of five. Number 32 against Hook. What's that? A lot of three-point shooting going yes, on. Yes, Cass yes. City, one of seven. Vassar, zero for five. Going to be a timeout. If you don't look now, but uh, Logan Hook, one of their bigs, sitting on three falls yeah. with uh, 327 left to go here in this second quarter. 30-second timeout. We'll stay right here with you. Want to thank uh, your post-game sponsor, Denny Miller, your local farm beer insurance agent, located right here in Vassar, across from McDonald's. Call them at 823-8493. Also want to thank Grazzo Graphics at uh, 9710 Junction Road in Das Muth. Visit them, grazzographics.com, or call 652-5151. Uh, Air Advantage, your Let's Talk Sports sponsor for high-speed, reliable internet. Check them out, airadvantage.net, or call 866-8771-AIR. And also Larson Graphics, check them out, 1065 East here on Avenue and Vassar, right down the road from where we are right now. Visit larsongraphics.com, or call 823-3000. And again, stick around, your halftime show brought to you by a local DQ Grill and Chill is coming up. At you here in a matter of uh, it's fan food, couple not minutes. fast food. Ricardo going to be taking this one away. He's off to the races. The big man puts up a shot. Oh. Big 
stuff there by Stern. Block. Huge block by Stern. Ricardo gave him some love afterwards as well. <laughs> gives him a pat on the back and uh, gives him a uh, low five, I guess you'd call it. And uh, they're still talking, and Sa Sandin's like, hey, we still got a game to play. That was sweet and all, but uh, get over there. Oh, and, horrible uh, pass. Block the inbound as Cuthrell going to come up with a steal. He's going to drive this one, lays it up and in. And too easy for Cass City right there. 19-8, three minutes left to go, 11-point game. Well, that's just, that's just Cuthrell being as athletic as what he is. You know, if he's absolutely he, he's he, he's too quick, unguardable, shot no good on that long three point shot by Vassar. It's going to be rebounded by Cassidy going back the other way. Hayden Horn thought he had a nice little drive to the basket, but he's going to be knocked away from behind. And I think they're going to get this on Ricardo. It is going to be against Ricardo Macon. Stepping to the line is going to be Hayden Horn. So Hayden going to be stepping up, trying to increase this lead. One-on-one -on -one shot here for Horn. So far on the night, Cassidy, two of three. No good in front of the iron. Rebounded by Cass City. Going to try to put up the putback. No good. We'll see who they get this one against. I have no idea what Vassar was doing right there. Shank just come in at, I mean, nobody boxed him at all. Call is going to be against Kerr. That will be his first. 19-8, 2.39 left to go still here. Shank with the shot. Good. Goes that one up and in. 2.39 left to go, 20-8. to eight. I think I said this time a couple times now, but I want to make sure you guys know how much time's left. <laughs> Bryce Fernald checking on in. Hayden Horn checking on out for Chaos City. Second shot off the side of the iron. No good. Luke Stern with the ball. Gonna go right back to Cass City here. Cuthrell with it. He sides to throw up a big shot here. No good. Rebounded by the big man Kerr. As he's gonna hold on to this one. He's gonna get it up. Sandy Cuthrell using those defensive back moves as he goes up there, takes that ball away, back the other way, tries to put up the shot. No good. Rebounded here by Cass City. And they're gonna get a call here against number 21 for Vassar, Noah Weisenberger. Getting quite sloppy. Very sloppy here in the last minute and a half. That is for sure. Can't You can't throw the ball, no matter what kind of ball it is, in that direction of Sandy uh, Cuthrell, and not expect him to try to go up there and steal that away. Yeah. He's really grabbing at that right wrist over there. That was the uh, hand that he went up to take the ball away with. So, yeah, as that first shot there from Cassidy Schenk, going to be up and in, 21 to 8, 219 left to go. Second shot here by Shank, up and off the back of the iron. Going to call this against Vassar. Looks like against number 21. Oh. Oh. We'll head down to the other end and we'll shoot, All right, we'll shoot a so. pair down here. <laughs> Wasn't sure what we were uh, <laughs> calling there, but uh, nonetheless. Dylan Hubbard down here shooting one on one. First shot Throws up. It up. Is good. So again, your DQ Grill and Chill halftime show coming up very shortly here. I also want to thank Schneebers of Cass City, Superstore of the Thumb, and more Shoreline Chevrolet Buick of Seaboyne. Rims out on the second free throw. It's going to go off. It looks like it went off Cass City. It is going to go off Cass City. So we'll. Stay down here for the Balkans. So an opportunity here for Vassar to shrink this back down to 10 points. Yeah, they need anything even that nine. they can get right now. Anything they can get. Uh, checking out Shank, checking on in. Beecher for Cass City. Be nice nice drive here by Hubbard. He's going to fill that one up and in down low. Make this now a 10-point game. 21-11, 2-10 left to go. Cassidy now bringing it back down. Again, moving from left to right on your FM dial. Renal with it. He's going to move this over to the near sideline. Going to hand this off to Rubel. Rubel with it. Just picked up his first ball of the evening. Back to Fernal. Going to hand this off over to Stern. Stern going to drive this one. Puts a shot up. Going to be knocked away by Dom. He's going to go right into the hands of Albrecht as he's going to drive this. Floats that up. Trying to get it up. Oh! <laughs> Almost runs right into the student section. Beecher trying to come up with the steal.
Hubbard can't believe his eyes. They're, they're calling. They're calling Cassidy ball. I'm not sure how. <laughs> <laughs> that he sure got a smile on his face. Yeah, because he got away with one. That's like getting away with murder right there. As yeah. uh, that was all him in the uh, maroon and white. But nonetheless, it is going to go out of bounds. Apparently off of Vassar. And it's going to go back down the other way. We're going to get a fall here against Luke Albrecht. Very, very questionable, to say the least. Huh, interesting. Well, uh, stepping to the line is going to be Alex Perry. One twenty-one left to go here, second quarter. First free throw there by Perry, no good. Razzle Graphics, want to thank them. Want to thank Air Advantage, Larson Graphics, Denny Miller. It's like shot no the good. No good. Going to be rebounded here by the Vulcans. Back down the other way. Cross court pass over here right in front of us to Dom. The big man gets it right back over to Albrecht. He's going to pick up that pick and roll here by Dom. Trying to get it right back to him. Luke Albrecht put up the three point oh. shot. No good. Are you keeping track of all the threes? I, 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 I'm trying. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Yes, yeah, so a majority of the threes I have down. I believe, yeah, all the threes I have down. Nice job there by Albrecht as somehow keeping his composure mid-air. He's able to deflect it off a Cass City player without running into his uh, coach there, assistant coach, and is able to keep that ball against Cass City. So now will be Bastard Ball. Going to be moving this one down. Trying to shrink this to single digits would be huge just before halftime. Very big. 50 seconds left to go, trying to get it down low. They are going to get it down low to Ian Hubbard. Nice move down low, almost gets it to go. He's going to get the shot fall, though, so we're going to go to the line for two here and uh, could make this an eight-point game, Chris. I mean, we're, we're talking an eight-point eight game, and we're talking 13-21. Uh, I mean, <laughs> a game where Cassidy has dominated quite yeah. a bit of this game. Yep. First shot by uh, Ian Hubbard is up and good. I want to thank Dumb Area Psychological Services, Carroll Cassidy location. Stop in and check them out or call them 872 1800. Go Red Hawks, invest in your future with Harrison Company of Cass City. See Dave Weiler of Harrison Company. Second shot from Ian Hubbard. Good. Just there like that, go. eight point game. It will be Cass City coming back the other way, trying to get those points right back. Rubel puts out the three, no good. Got a bat up for the ball down low. Hubbard going to come up with it. Flips that up to Albrecht. Luke Albrecht going to be over midcourt here with the ball. I am not sure why Rubel forced that three-pointer the way he did. It's going to be Albrecht with it now, being guarded by Hayden Horn. 20 seconds left to go. Trying to come up with some nice last big shot here. Eisenberger with it as he's going to be able to get that over. Hubbard going to drive this. going to be blocked from behind by Stern. Ball is on the ground. We've got a battle for it. Hayden Horn shoves. Getting chippy. Shoves Hubbard. Did you not call that? It looked pretty blatant to me, but yeah. <laughs> obviously I had a better angle. Nonetheless. Got through all checking in. Perry checking out. Also checking in is going to be Anthus. Taking a seat is... Shank, okay. <laughs> Looked like he was going to run in and check in for Stern. Six seconds left to go. Going to bring on that full court pressure as Cassidy looking to get that last shot off. They get it into Hayden Horn's hand. Three, two. Sandy Cuthrell just puts up a shot. He's going to fill it off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just like that. As, uh, Why not? Struggling to hit the three-pointer all night long. <laughs> He Sand has both three-pointers on the night for both teams. Sandy Cuthrell said, hey, let me just put up a prayer, and it decides to go just right there. So we're going to head to halftime 24-13, and we're going to come back. we got more Let's Talk Sports. Let's Talk Sports. we got more Game of the Week <laughs> for you. Classic Rock. I'm all discombobulated now. It's Classic Rock on any two. <laughs> Come on, man, don't you die on me. Doctor, we're losing him. Clear. He can't die. He hasn't heard about how much money he could save if he switched from cable to direct TV. Uh, doctor? Clear. 
Plus, if he'd like Bad Axe or Caro's AT&T Facebook page, he could win prizes just in time for the holidays. Doctor, he's going to make it. Behold the power of savings. Hey, it's Bob Hughes from the Morning Traffic Jams. I want to take a minute to tell you about Air Advantage Wireless and Fiber Internet Services. Since I've lived in the Thumb, the only choice I've had for Internet has been wireless, because that's just how it is out here. I went through two other providers before I found Air Advantage Wireless for my home. In the coming months, Air Advantage and I-92 will be telling you about the investment they're beginning to make in the Thumb to bring the world a little closer, a lot quicker. I am currently using that new technology, and it's the only company that has given me the reliability and bandwidth I can count on. So stay tuned. There's more to come from Air Advantage Internet Services. Grazzle Graphics of Frankenmuth is your one-stop shop for all things screen printing and embroidery. Business, corporations, festivals, sporting events, teams, or even family reunions, t-shirts, jackets, hats, or any apparel you may need can be found at Grazzle Graphics. You can even put it all together and shop from their online store. Trust their 30-plus years of service, for second to none customer service, quick response, and highest quality products around. Visit them online, grazzlegraphics.com. Call 989-652-5151 or in person, 9710 Junction Road in Frankenmuth. Are you looking for new furniture, flooring, appliances? The place to go in the thumb is Schneeberger's in downtown Cass City. At Schneeberger's, choose from hundreds of models on floor, in stock, right now, ready to go. So whether it's a Lazy Boy chair, sofa, or love seat, they've got it at Schneeberger's in downtown Cass City. Maybe you're looking for flooring. Well, Schneeberger's has that too. Everything from laminate, wood, tile, whatever it is you need. If you want to get it at the best price around, then you need to go to Schneeberger's in downtown Cass City today. More Shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seabwing has close to 200 new Chevrolet and Buick cars, trucks, and SUVs in a great selection of certified pre-owned. Visit moreshoreline.com now and find your car today. While online, you can also schedule a test drive or even schedule service for your vehicle. More Shoreline serves Cairo, Bad Axe, Bay City, all of the thumb and beyond, and they are ready to serve you. Chevy, find new roads in M25 and Seabwing or call More Shoreline today, 877-272-272. 3219. Hi, I'm Bud Schneeberger here in Cass City, and of course, Russ, he's at it again. He got that whole semi load of Lazy Boy chairs in, and of course, that means that we got to get rid of those leftovers. We got the new ones in right now, brand new Lazy Boy chairs, and of course, you know, Schneeberger's are always lowest prices in the thumb on all Lazy Boy chairs, all Lazy Boy products, sofas and chairs. And of course, it's coming in now by the truckload, and we've got a whole load of appliances coming in this afternoon. Washers and refrigerators, and dishwashers, freezers, upright and chest freezers, gas and electric ranges. So. You drive a little, folks. You're going to save a lot on all those fine Lazy Boy chairs and appliances. And don't forget those flooring. We got them by the roll, rolls and rolls and rolls of carpet. So you drive a little, you're going to save a lot of Schneebers in Cass City. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau Insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the David Soper Agency and Wayne Sayers Agency, both in Carroll, or the Deb Croswick Agency in Unionville. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau Insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the Dennis Miller Agency in Vassar, Reggie Ignash Agency in Cass City, or Kim Butcher Agency in Carroll. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. Larson Graphics in Vassar is your go-to for all your graphic and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options, small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics, located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com. That's LarsonGraphics.com. What's that? What were you just saying? You need to switch to the talk of the thumb. 
Have you heard that Thumb Cellular is the best cellular service in the thumb? What about their crystal clear service wherever you travel nationwide? Or what about their selection of the latest smartphones and accessories? If you've been holding off on switching carriers or upgrading your old phone, what are you waiting for? You don't have to wait anymore for the big summer or holiday sale to get great savings on phones, plans, and more. Just visit thumbcellular.com slash deals. There's always a great deal every month. And if you'd rather shop in person, stop by your local Thumb Cellular office in Bad Axe, Caro, Pigeon, or Sandusky. They have the knowledge and experience to help you save. Switch to Thumb Cellular and you'll know why they're the talk of the thumb. You love Thumb Cellular! Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. And we are back with your Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week Halftime Show brought to you by your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food, it's fan food. Stop it in, uh, I'm going to say personally, stop it in and try their mint shake because you will thank me later, especially if you're a mint (laughs) fan. Uh, if you're not a mint fan, then I wouldn't try it. Uh, but it's still delicious nonetheless. So you can check out their 4 dollars four-piece chicken strip basket. That's delicious as well. You can uh, try out any of their blizzards. It's all at DQ Grill & Chill, your local DQ Grill & Chill. It's not fast food. It's fan food. And we have a 24-13 halftime score. Um, it looked a lot easier. Better for here. I'll help you out. It's, it's absolutely been a sloppy first half. Don't, let's not beat around it. Let's not. No, I was going to say it looked a lot better oh, for man. Vassar heading into the halftime before Santa Cuthrell was able to throw yep. that prayer and make it go. But uh, nonetheless, eleven point game, and yes, a very sloppy first half between these two squads. And uh, we'll see who comes out and polishes things up a little bit here. And I mean, I don't, I don't know when the last time I saw twenty fouls in the first half was. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I think that, that it's definitely not the story, but uh, you're at 24-13, uh, Cassidy on top of the Vassar Vulcans here at halftime. Leading the way with the team high, game high so far. Santa Cuthrell, 15 points, also chipping in. Uh, Landon Shank, four points. Hayden Horton, three points. Luke Stern with two. Over on the Vassar Vulcan side of things, Dylan Hubbard, seven points, four boards. Uh, Gideon Dom, two points. Ian Hubbard, two points. And Logan Hook, two points. You know, just not a great night shooting at all. Uh, Cass City, nine of 23 so far. Vassar, three of 18. Uh, Vassar, 0 of 7 from beyond the arc. And Cass City, 2 of 10. Both of those uh, three-point shots going to Sanding Cuthrell, and obviously the last one there by uh, a buzzer beater, anyways, to say the least. So, uh, free throw shooting tonight. Uh, Kansas City, four of eight, shooting 50%, and Vassar shooting seven of 10. So, better better from the charity stripe, obviously, Vassar is than anything. Yeah, that's uh, that's about you know that's that was the uh, positive for them in the second quarter as they had uh, Cass City in some ball trouble there and they were going to the line, uh, but they were not able to fully capitalize on it. They got it. They got quite a bit of turnovers against yeah. Cass City and they just were not able to capitalize on it. So that was kind of the uh, the biggest thing was the problem. I mean, you gotta. And you got to cash in when you get yeah. those opportunities. I mean, it could be a whole heck of a lot better game for Vassar and the scoreboard right now if they were able to cash in, able to get those turnovers, but not able to uh, take advantage of them. That's the biggest thing. So we'll see if this the student section. It's not a big student section tonight, but we'll see if the student section plays into the effect. Obviously, Cassie is going to now be heading from right to left on the radio dial. See if that uh, plays into effect here in the second half at all, and uh, maybe gets Vassar back into it a little bit. Yeah, uh, they're going to need us. Uh, hopefully they, they they lighted some kind of uh, something underneath them in, in that locker room because yeah. they're going to need to get going here. And uh, they just they look defeated already. That's the problem. But uh, they got to get it back out there and uh, get things going. We shall see, though, as uh, we are getting ready for second half action again. Your score 24-13. We do have some scores coming in from around the area. Uh, the last time I did hear, again, it was 23, or excuse me, 37 Wait, what was it again? 37-17 <laughs> USA over Carroll at half. Uh, Dryden was leading Deckerville at half, 30-25 to in that one. Um, I don't know about Kingston. I have not heard anything on that game as of yet, but our one main person that tells us is coaching the game. So, um, You know somebody that coaches? 
Yeah. Who would have thunk? Coach Lester. See if I can find something here real quick. I don't think so because I haven't seen nothing from him, and that is correct. I don't have anything. All right, well, once we do get something, we'll definitely pass that along. There are some other games going on around the area as well uh, that we have not heard from Sandusky K-Pack. Well, actually, I can probably find the Sandusky one as well as we're getting ready for our second half action here. And uh, it's going to be Cassidy going to start things off, moving from right to left on your FM dial now as they're right here in front of us. Passing this ball around. It's going to be Hayden Horn with it. Thought about the three. Take a step to the side. He's going to get over to Cuthrell. Cuthrell heat check right away. Not going to be able to get that one to go. Of course, because that was a normal three. Right. Step back about 10 feet, and you probably would have been able to sink that, as it is going to be standing once again right now. Going to put that shot up. It's going to go. Coach Cuthrell right here in the corner. Hit every part of the rim. Giving him the eye, saying that better go down. <laughs> the ball decided to go down. It will be Vassar trying to answer here. Down by 13 as Cassidy has them doubled up right now, 26-13. Up and under, going to be the shot, no good. Going to be rebounded by the Red Hawks. Back the other way, Kendall Anthes, skip pass over to Stern. It's going to drive. Hubbard going to get called for the blocking fall here. And that's going to be against Dylan Hubbard. That'll be his first of the second half, his second of the game. Student section just not getting into it. They're sitting. They want no part of it. It's going to be inbound here by Cuthrell. It's going to go off Hubbard's hand. That was so a pretty weak pass. We'll try this once again. Cuthrell going to inbound this. Gets it over top of Hubbard. It's going to be cycled around over to Horn. Horn going to find Anthes in the corner, far corner, right in front of the Cassidy bench. Flips it over to Cuthrell. <laughs> he that's was his, thinking. That's his range right there. Yeah. Anthes from the corner, no good. That's his second air ball from the corner this evening. It's going to be picked up by Vassar. Ian Hubbard going to drive this one along the baseline. Nice job. Kisses it off the glass and in. 26-14 now. 6.40 left to go here in this third quarter of play. Back the other way. Cass City looking to answer here. It's going to go underneath the bucket. Going to be up and in by Schenk. And going to be Hook picking up his fourth of the evening. So the big man. Starter going to pick up his four, so. Shank being able to pick up with Cuthrell couldn't handle, and uh, up on off the glass just like that, going to get an and one out of it. So he'll be taking a seat. Dom's going to be coming on in, and uh, also Blake Kerr going to be taking a seat. Ricardo, or Blake Kerr going to come in. Ricardo going to be taking the seat. There we go. That's what I meant to say. You guys knew out there. I knew what you were saying, but I'm only here seeing it, too. 28-14, 6-28 left to go. Second shot, shot is, good. is up. And good by Shank. So we'll be now a 29-14 game. It's going to be Vassar bringing this one down from left to right. It's going to be Albrecht with it being guarded it, by Horn. It's, it's 29-15. They didn't add the point. What did it I say, 14? It, no, you were right. It was 14 is what showed on the board, but it oh. should have had another point on the board. I should have been able to uh, count, though. Ian Hubbard had that layup down there, which <laughs> gave him two points. So we'll be an inbound here by... Vassar, Dom with it, now the big man. You think Kerr wants the ball down low with uh, Anthes? Or he did, anyways. Backs up a little bit here as now goes back. Dom's going to drive this one. We're going to get a call here. It's going to be against Shank. 6.06 left to go. 29.15. 6.06 left to go in the third, I should say. Hey, we had 20 fouls in the first half, and we're already off to three so far here already. So it'll be Dom at the line. Going to be no good on the first shot. Dom rubs his hands together, webs him against the jersey. Takes the ball from the official. Two dribbles, a spin. Shots up and good. So makes this now a 29-16 ball game. Back to a 13-point lead here. Trying to cut into this is Kendall Anthes now with the ball right here in front of us. Trying to get around Luke Albrecht. He's going to get over in the corner to Horn. Horn perhaps a Puts up the long three-point shot, no good. Bounces around, it's going to go off of Shank, and it's going to go out of bounds, so it will be Vassar ball. Vassar going to inbound this one right here along another, the baseline. Another missed three-point opportunity in tonight's ball game. It's going to be Hubbard now with it. Ian Hubbard looking down low, being guarded very well. Gets it outside to the big man, Dom. He's just going to drive this one, going to run right into Cassidy. Yeah. That is going to be a charge here. Chris predicted the future. 
You can call it. me Romo without the money <laughs> and everything else. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you might have more championships than him. I you count fantasy do. football. No, so. Yeah. so Dom's first of the evening as it will be Cassidy going to bring this one in. Hayden Horn going to bring this one up the court now. It's over to Schenk, over to Anthes. Kendall Anthes right here in front of us. Gets it over to Horn. Horn decides to go out for the long three. See, that's all they have to do is step <laughs> back a couple feet and put it up. Step back to about 30 feet, you'll be good. Because we've seen some long-range threes. When they get up to the line, doesn't really work out so well. Albrecht with it. Gets over to Dom. We're going to get a timeout here by Vassar. So they're going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll stay right here with you. And... No. You're going to need some of that tutoring, Scott, Post after they're done with you. Show. <laughs> yeah. Post game show, Denny Miller, your local farm bureau insurance agent located right here in Bastard Cross McDonald's coming up for you here in about a quarter and a half as we are still grinding right on through this ball game. It's still 33 to 16, a big lead here for Cass City. Want to thank also Schneebergers of Cass City, the superstore of the thumb drive a little, save a lot. It's all at Schneebergers of Cass City. Superstore of the Thumb. Want to thank more Shoreline Chevrolet Buick and Seawing. Visit them online, moreshoreline.com. Your postgame show brought to you by Denny Miller. Uh, your pregame show is brought to you by Thumb Cell. And your halftime show was brought to you by your local DQ Grill and Chill. It's not fast food, it's fan food as we get things started right back up after that timeout by Bass. We'll see what they can come out of the huddle with and see if they get something big going here. It's going to be a catch and shoot three point shot from the corner by Weisenberger. It's going to be no good. Rebounded by Basser. Hubbard's going to get it. That's of the Ian variety as he's going to get that over to Albrecht, Luke Albrecht now with it. We're in the mismatch colored socks tonight. And he's going to get that ball up there. Hey, Luke. Yep, Luke Stern. So Dylan Hubbard going to go to the line now for a couple shots. The sock game in the thumb is interesting to watch. <laughs> you get some pretty cool looking socks out you there. You do. First yeah. shot off the back of the iron, no good. Everybody has their own, I guess, good luck as uh, two different socks for Albrecht, two different colors on top of that. Got to mix it up. Second shot off the front of the iron, no good. Rebound, Cuthrell. Cuthrell going to bring this one down the court now for Cass City. Again, moving from right to left on your FM dial. Going to drive right against his man, Weisenberger. Going to get called with the blocking fall here. It's going to be a quick call on that blocking fall. Maybe it's safe to say they're not letting them play. Uh, yeah, they're definitely not letting <laughs> them play We've seen some all. officials, uh, your officiating crews this year, that, that let them play all out. But uh, tonight, not the case. As we have six total falls here with 424 left to go. Now let's make that seven total falls. And that'll be the fifth fall here on Vassar with 422 left to go still in the third quarter of play. Could be a long rest of the night, Scotty. Well, so, you know, we, our first quarter flew by, but not so much... Uh, here this rest of the ball game as Shank shot is finds the bottom of the net. Make this 34 to 17. No, excuse me, 34 16. And the second shot is good. 5 16, 4 22 left to go. We're going to need a timeout here. 30 second timeout by the Red Hawks. Want to thank uh, some other sponsors from around the area for you this evening. Copeland Insurance, check out their all-new location, Door Road, serving all your insurance needs. Copeland Insurance, go Red Hawks. I also want to thank DS Services of Cass City, your primary service. Excuse me. Your primary source. Air went down the wrong, uh, <laughs> wrong tube there. Your primary source for all your grain bins, dryers, material handling equipment for farm or commercial use. I want to thank also Hills and Dale General Hospital to meet you at the corner. Go Red Hawks, invest in your future with Harrison Company of Cass City. See Dave Weiler of Harrison Company and Thumb Mary Psychological Services. Check out their Carroll Cass City location at 872 1800. Give them a call. And we got one more here as well before we get back to play. I want to thank Conch uh, Financial Design of Vassar Building Strategies for your financial future. Good luck. Master Vulcans from Koch Financial Design. It is going to be Vassar with the ball out of that timeout from Cass City. Albrecht with it. It is a 19-point game, 35-16, four minutes left to go. Looking down low, it's going to be tipped away. Dom, or excuse me, Ian Hubbard loses the handle on it. It's going to be saved by Cass City. Going to bring it back down the other way. Cuthrell with it, trying to get it over. 
It's actually going to be taken away by Dylan Hubbard. I don't know if he was intending that for Horn. Yeah, it looked like it was going to Horn, but it's just way off the mark. So it will be Vassar now with the ball. Dylan Hubbard with it. Going all along the perimeter. We're going to get a call against Anth or excuse me, against uh, Cuthrell here on the blocking fall. That'll be his third of the evening. 3.42 left to go, 35-16, as we now have eight total falls here in this third quarter alone. Cuthrell's a pretty uh, physically fit individual, and even though he's probably given up a little weight against uh, Dylan Hubbard, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be able to battle with him. Pass over to Weisenberger, almost ended up in disaster, oh, but he was man. able to get the ball back. Wide open shot there for Dom, no good on the turnaround shot as he got his own board. Just frustration for Vassar. It's nothing going for them right now. 35-16, 3.26 left to go. I mean, you're shooting 4 of 22 right now from, from the floor. Not, yeah. not very good. My math isn't good, but I know that's not good. You're 8 of 14 currently from the free throw line. It's not terrible. I mean, if they could shoot all their shots from the free throw line, they'd be doing well, all right. Well, when half of your points are coming from the free throw line and the other half are coming from the field. Ruba put out the long three in and out. Going to go off the bottom of the foot of Hubbard. And we got a battle for the ball. Rubo just lets go, and Hubbard takes a tumble. And we're going to call that a jump ball. Possession arrow is in favor of the Vulcans. So we'll be heading to our right right now. 35-16 still your score. for Fernald going to be checking into this ball game. And it's going to be Hayden Horn taking a seat. A little chippy. A little bit. Uh, I think you can probably attest that to the rough night that Vassar's having. Uh, you see frustration. Yeah. Start to sink in a little bit here. You can see the head starting to shake for Vassar when they come away from the basket. As Chris now with it. Nice pass over to Dom as he puts that one up and in. Count that in the fall. As now going to try to go to the line for an old fashioned three point play. 35 18 is your score. And that'll be the second fall of the evening for Colin Rubel as we got a nine falls total. Okay. Dom to the free throw line and no good. So we'll be Cassidy getting the rebound as they now move from right to left on your FM dial. Bernal with it as he gets it over to Stern. Trying to get it down low. He does get it over to the big man Beecher. Rubel in the corner puts up the three. Just missed it last time. Just going to miss it this time off the side of the iron. You're rebounded by Dom. Gideon Dom bringing it up as he flips it over to Hubbard. Hubbard, nice spin move. He's going to hold on to it. We're going to get a call here by Fernald, or on Fernald, I should say. For Cass City. So there we go. Ten balls here with 238 still left to go here. Scotty, I was almost going to ask you who, 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 were going to put, who was going to put up the next three-point shot. Well, we didn't have to guess very long as Rubel decided to put it on up. Cass City now three of 16 from beyond the arc. It is going to be Chris now with it. He's going to drive this. He's going to flip it back down wide open. He had his toe on the line. It's two. He's going to get the rebound. He's going to get over to Chris. Back over to Ian Hubbard. He's going to drive it. Nice drive to the bucket. Not going to be able to fill it up, but he's going to go to the line now for a couple. Stern going to pick up this ball. I believe that's either his third or fourth of the evening. I believe that's his fourth. Number five, Luke Stern, his fourth. Yeah. Yeesh. That's what happens when all these falls start racking up. We're going to start be going down the bench now. But nonetheless, he is going to be taking a seat here in just a matter of a couple seconds. I believe we're going to get Perry on in. Yes, Alex Perry going to be checking in. Stern going to be taking a seat with his fourth ball. First shot on the free throw. No good there by Ian Hubbard. Well, you, can't, uh, you can't blame uh, Coach Ronaldo right now. I mean, 31 total fouls between the first half and now with 219 left to play here in the third. Second shot rims out, no good. Rebounded by Beecher as they're going to be moving this way back towards our, our vicinity. It's going to be thrown down low, no good. Or excuse me, nobody there to get the ball. Hubbard going to take that one away. Back over to Chris. Cross-court pass over, down low. It's going to go into pass. Hubbard's hand. Nice job turning it up and in. And it's going to be Ian Hubbard to fill it up. 35-20, 1.55 left to go here in this third quarter of play. So it is going to be, once again, opportunity here for Cassidy to try to increase this lead. Sandy Cuthrell puts the shot no good. Rebounded by Hubbard. Dylan Hubbard now with it. 135 left to go. He's going to bring this one down. Tries to get it up. Tries to thread the needle there. Not able to do so. It's going to be taken away by Cassidy. 
Back the other way, it is going to be Fernald with it. Bryce Fernald over to Rubel right in the corner. Give him a little bit of separation there as now let's see if third time's a charm it is. He's missed it twice from that corner. He's finally able to get it to go. Somebody's got a hit. 38-20, 1-10 left to go in the third quarter of play. Luke Albrecht with it now. Going back on it here. It's an 18-point game. See what they decide to go with here. Down low, nice, nice job over to Dom. Not able to get it go. That's a couple times down low. He's had that shot, not able to get it to go. Just frustrating. Very, very frustrating. It's got to be for Dom right now. Got a trapped in the corner as uh, Rubel trying to get away from Dom. Trying to get back to that sweet spot. Not able to do so. Nice job down low. Oh, Somehow <laughs> Alex Perry ends up with the ball, and he's able to put that one up and in. He made it look flawless, made it look easy, but uh, definitely uh, very something interesting there as that ball just happened to end up in his hands. Nice, nice cut. streak there by... Hubbard, Dylan Hubbard is able to fill it up and in now. 40 to 22. We got a scoring streak going here, Scotty. And then we're going to end the quarter out. So hopefully we can let it roll over into the fourth. We shall see. It's going to be Fernald. Cutthrell going to put up the long three. No good. To back. And that'll be the end of your third quarter play. 40 to 22 is your score. We're going to take a 30 second timeout. We're going to come back. We've got more Game of the Week action, I 92. Larson Graphics in Vassar is your go-to for all your graphic and printing needs. They offer vinyl graphics with an array of options, small and large printing for everything from pamphlets and calendars to banners and entire wall graphics and everything in between. Have a business? Spruce it up with new signage or literally wear your brand on your sleeve with apparel options galore. Larson Graphics, located at 1065 East Huron Avenue in Vassar. Call 823-3000 or visit LarsonGraphics.com. That's LarsonGraphics.com. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. And we are back with your Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. 40-22 to 22 is your score with eight minutes freshly on the clock as we start bringing down the end of this uh, fourth quarter play in your ball game for your Game of the Week round number one as we will be back in action coming up on Friday. We're going to be live coming at you from Unionville Sibling High School as the USA Patriots are going to be taking on the um, Bad X Hatchets. Thank you. I couldn't think of it. No one told me, but I just uh, decided to uh, figure it out myself. Nonetheless, that is going to be your Game of the Week coming up on Friday night. Uh, Chris and myself going to be over there bringing you that action and uh, gr another big Greater Thumb West battle as uh, Bad X could uh, could uh, play some uh, interesting factor in there. Obviously not going to be for a conference title, but nonetheless, it, it'll be a fun game. Should be a fun game between Bad X uh, and USA. It was the first time around, so hopefully they show up again for us as the first shot of the third or fourth quarter going to be no good. Rebounded by Vassar. Dom going to bring this one back up the court. Being guarded by Cuthrell. He's able to get around his defender. Going to put his body right on into Beecher. And he's going to be able to draw that fall. He's going to go to the line now for a couple freebies as that is going to be the seventh team fall here for Cass City. It's a lot of fouls. <laughs> and that is going to be against Beecher, his third of the evening. May not have anybody left here before long. No doubt. It's Stern's already checking back in just like that. Dom shot. Oh, rolls on around. I was going to say, if that goes out, I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> right. Anything he's put up tonight just does not want to go down. Beecher and Perry coming out, coming in. Stern and Shank. Stern coming in with four fouls right now. So definitely going to be iffy here for Stern as the second shot is good. That one a lot easier going down than uh, the first one for Dom. 40 to 24, 735 left to go here in this fourth quarter of play. As it is going to be Stern with the ball right now, just stepping back into this game. It's not over to Schenk. Schenk now with it, looking down low. Going to get it over instead up to the top of the perimeter to Rubel as he gets it over to Fernald. Fernald being guarded here by Albrecht. Cycling this around the perimeter, getting it down low. Nice job down low. Rebounded by Dom. Get something going here for USA if they can get a bucket on this end. And it's going to be tipped away. Fernald steals it. He's just going to throw it up. It's going to be a race for the ball. Chris going to come up with it now. So just reset as they come back down to the other end. Nice job moving it up. Hubbard with it. 
It's going to stop, and uh, Shank, I don't know if he got so sure. much of a bump there, but he falls <clears throat> backwards nonetheless. It is going to be a bucket for Hubbard. Cuthrell, beautiful shot as he changes positions midair, tries to put up the shot, no good. Dom going to be getting the rebound as now we're at a 14-point game and almost turned over here by Vassar, and they are going to say it. Oh, it went off of Fernal, they're going to say. Albrecht didn't even touch that, so good job there by Vassar as they are able to avoid a uh, terrible thing happening there on their Yeah, end. absolutely. Yeah, it looked like Albrecht uh, ended up touching that, but uh, he did not touch it. We got... Okay, I was wondering what the hold-up play was. What was it, you know? Nothing, nothing. It was just they were waiting for uh, Albrecht to get off the floor. Albrecht going to drive this one. Another nice job down low for the big man. As Don't look now, but it's a 40-28 game with 6.18 left to go in this fourth quarter of play. He got Hubbard, Sternson in there with four falls. Yeah, Hubbard really turning it on. Ian Hubbard really turning it on hard right now. Nice job there by Stern down low. He's going to be fouled. Possibility uh, Shank had a, maybe an illegal screen up here, but yeah. uh, they didn't call it. And it's uh, all that matters, right? Yeah. They called it. If they call it, it's illegal. If they don't call it, then well, and you gotta wait it must it. not be. <laughs> Luke Stern now at the line here. First shot up and yeah. good. 41, 28, 6 8 left to go. Coming on in is going to be Hayden Horn. Bryce Bernal taking a seat. I want to thank... Uh, Harrison Company of Cass City, Hills and Dale General Hospital of Cass City, as the second shot is good by Cass City. It is now back to a 42 28 cushion. Chris going to bring bringing this one up now for the Balkans. Tell you what, you want to talk about a half court line that's really not there. This floor really does not show that half court line there in the middle. And that's uh, something Ricardo was saying to us when he came up and talked. He said there's been a lot of over and backs that. Uh, are, uh, you don't see them because uh, yeah. of the, the, the way the court is. Uh, it's just got that blend right on in there. So kind of throws you off with that logo in the middle. Hayden Horn now with the ball, 42-28, 5.32 left to go. Puts up a shot, no good. Kind of interesting that you would uh, force that shot, and I don't think Coach Fernald is very yeah. happy with him putting that shot up. Yeah, kind of surprised he won't even force that shot himself. Chris going to drive this ball. He's going to stop an awkward angle there. He's not going to be able to get it to go. Cuthrell going to come up with the defensive board back down the other way. Fast and furious. They're going to go. He's just going to drive this one, and they're going to call that on the floor here against Vassar. <laughs> well, so far, turning up the heat is Ian Hubbard, uh, scoring 10 points. Uh, had himself kind of a quiet night to start with, and all of a sudden he started pour pouring it on here. The, uh, his last six points for Vassar, and also uh, Dylan Hubbard with nine points, and Gideon Dom now with seven. Getting some, getting some fresh recruits in. Yes. Gonna be a one and one now here for Cuthrell. First shot, no, no good. good, so he will not be rewarded. It's going to be back to Vassar now. Forty-two twenty-eight opportunity here to shrink that back down. Be Hubbard at the point with Stern. Remember, Stern sitting on five. They're doing a good job so far of attacking where he is. We'll see if they decide to go that route again. They are. Try to force him to fall, but luckily he is not the one that falls. But it is going to be Schenk. I believe that's going to be his four. I believe that's four as well. Oh, this is third. Okay, I was going to say, you got two bigs down low and some problems uh, with fall trouble, but he is able to avoid that, and it's going to be just three on him. First shot, Dylan Hubbard is good. As they only, but he only has two up on the board, so ignore that, I think, right? Yeah, it's not on Fernald. So second shot here by Hubbard. Back in the iron, no good. Got a bet off of the ball. And I believe it's going to be a jump ball. <laughs> Anthus in the middle of that. Jump ball, Hawkins ball. Got a Hubbard sandwich down there. Had Ian yeah. and Dylan on in there, bat battling for that ball with Anthus. And it is going to end up with the Vulcans. So it's going to be Dylan inbounding this ball for Vassar as they're down now. 42 29, inbound pass to Albrecht. Albrecht beyond the perimeter right here in front of us. 
Going back on it, gets over to Weisenberger as he gets it down low. Nice turnaround oh, hook shot there, the no hook. good. By number 32, Logan Hook. As back down the other way, Cuthrell just puts up a shot. They're going to say it's going to be out of bounds off Cuthrell as he was trying to draw a fall there, but it's got that uh, baseline that goes beyond the basket here. It kind of throws people off at times, and uh, he kind of got stuck behind it trying to throw up a prayer there as the Vassar... There's somebody we have not seen check in here in a while is Macon. Macon has not seen the floor since, I believe, uh, real early in the, the third quarter. Yeah. Actually, he hasn't, he hasn't even been in in the second half, so late in the second quarter. Nice job by Dom there as he's able to keep his composure, just uses those long arms, puts that up there. Back to an 11-point game now, 42-31. Four minutes left to go, still plenty of time. They're going to let Horn drive this one. Dom's going to get in his way at the last second. He's going to pick up a fall there. And that'll be the 16th fall here of this second half. Talk about a long night, Scotty. We could sit it. We could. Uh, <laughs> 40 falls is a lot of falls in an evening. It is a <laughs> lot of fouls. That'll be the second ball on Dom. Hayden Horn puts up first shot. No good back of the iron. This is where you got to cash in here from the line. Hit clock Especially stop. You have City. to make them. Want to ice that. Second shot, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Vassar. 42-31, back the other way. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by Horn. But a nice job there by Horn because Dom was wide open underneath the basket. He would have been able to put that one up and in and shrunk this down to a nine-point game. Hard to believe, but that's where we're at right now. 42-31, it's going to be all Brack as he flips it back over to Dom. Or excuse me, not Dom, Hubbard. Hubbard going to go up with a shot, no good. It's going to be blocked. At. Back down the other way, Cothrell going to put up a shot. He's going to fill that up and in. 13-point game, 44-31, 3.38 left to go. Stern went up to swat that with four fouls, and uh, you know what Dylan Hubbard was wanting, full timeout. All right, we will take a 30-second timeout with him as well, then we'll come back. we got more Game of the Week action for you. It is Classic Rock Guy 92. Grazzle Graphics of Frankenmuth is your one-stop shop for all things screen printing and embroidery. Business, corporations, festivals, sporting events, teams, or even family reunions, T-shirts, jackets, hats, or any apparel you may need can be found at Grazzle Graphics. You can even put it all together and shop from their online store. Trust their 30-plus years of service, for second second-to-none customer service, quick response, and highest quality products around. Visit them online, Grazzle Graphics.com, call 989-652-5151 or in person, 9710 Junction Road in Frankenmuth. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with the Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. It is fourth quarter action, 338 left to go, 13-point game as we had Sandy Cuthrell putting up a shot there at the end just before half, or before half time, before the timeout. And before halftime, though, he threw up a prayer he, he and uh, kind of got uh, set the tone going on into the second half so far as Kansas City's completely taken over. But just a 13-point game as Vassar's been able to shrink it down to 11. He had the opportunity to go to single digits, but not able to get it to go. So we'll see what they can do here. Dylan Hubbard going to inbound this ball as we start things up here. Right after that timeout, it's going to be Luke Albrecht with it being guarded by Hayden Horn. Down low, Dom, nice turnaround shot, no good. Going to be rebounded by Amphis. They want a jump ball, no jump ball. Nope, uh, it's going to be moving back down here. It's going to be a couple freebies here for Cass City. Here we go, Amphis going to step to the line on a one-on-one. Anthus getting ready to put up this first shot to try to increase this lead here. First shot is off the side of the iron, no good. So it'll be Dylan Hubbard bringing this one up. Hubbard kicks it over to Albrecht, puts up the long three-point shot, fills it up, there you go. There's a nice little spark as we got a 10-point game now, 44-34. 3-10 left to go here in this fourth quarter of play. We start hitting on those cylinders. Yeah, getting close. Horn with it now, <clears throat> being guarded by Ian Hubbard. Trying to look down low, he's being guarded nicely there as he gets it down to Stern, gonna be poked away. And they're gonna say they went off of Albrecht, so it will be Cassidy ball. Yeah, Stern was matched up there with <clears throat> Albrecht and uh, probably not the matchup you want <laughs> if you're Vassar. 
No, no, not at all. <laughs> Inbounded here to Horn in the corner, right in front of us, being all uh, being guarded here by Albrecht. And it's going to be flipped over to Stern. Stern going to hand this off over to Cuthrell. Cuthrell with the ball, hands that off over to Anthus. Anthus now with it. Getting away, nice job here. Stern going to drive this one. Making it look easy right there as he fills it up and in. 46-34 back the other way. Careless throw there. It's going to be taken away by Beecher. Yeah, can't force a throw like that as Albright tries to throw it almost three-quarters of the court. and yeah, It's going to get picked off pretty much every time. As it will be Ass yeah, City with it now. Cuthrell driving this one along the sideline. They're going to get a blocking call here against Weisenberger for Vassar. So going to be heading to the line now. It's going to be Cuthrell shooting two. Might as well shoot some while you're there as uh, Cuthrell sitting on 19 points for the night, seven boards. First, First shot. Shot, no good. 46-34, 214 left to go. Stick around again your post-game show brought to you by Denny Miller, your local farm bureau insurance agent. Located in Vassar Cross McDonald's, 823-84. 93 second shot is going to be good. Hit every part of that rim. That he did. That he did. And uh, luckily it went down for him because it is a 13 point game now. 47 34, 206 left to go. Hubbard steps back. He's wow, going like to James Harden shot up. <laughs> Although James Harden's shot apparently is legal. It is. 47, 34, 201 left to go. Cassidy now moving the troops on down here as they're going to go to the line. It's just going to be all about uh, free throws from here on out. Wow. Lots of, lots of fouls. This could be, uh, could be a long two minutes. Yeah, definitely could. This could be. Beecher's first shot is good. Not bothering him. Is the student section behind the basket? Who I think are kind of taken out of it right now. 14 point game, 15 point game. Inbounded here by Dom. It's going to go into the hands of Hubbard. Back the other way. Cuthrell going to take this one away. Too much speed. He's going to stop trying to get Dom to go. Not able to get him to go, but Beach is going to be right there to clean it up as he puts that one up and in. 51 34, 145 left to go in this fourth quarter play. He's going to drive this nice one. It's going to be Albrecht. Nice job Hubbard. under down low to Hubbard. Hubbard going to fill that one up and in now to make this 51-36. 136 left to go. We're going to get a timeout. I think this is going to be a 60-second timeout. It is going to be a full timeout. So we will take another 30-second timeout. Come back. we got more Game of the Week. Action for you, it is Classic Rock on 92. As Michigan's insurance company, Farm Bureau Insurance offers a full range of insurance services to make your life easier and your future more secure. Your Farm Bureau Insurance agent is your one-stop insurance professional. Through just one agent, you have access to auto, business, farm, health, home, life, and retirement. Visit your local Farm Bureau agent today. Visit the Dennis Miller Agency in Vassar, Reggie Ignash Agency in Cass City, or Kim Butcher Agency in Carroll. Farm Bureau Insurance, Michigan's insurance company. Welcome back to the Classic Rock I-92 High School Game of the Week. Let's get back to the action with Scott Bowlesby and Chris Wilcox. We are back with your Classic Rock I-92 Game of the Week. Here with you, it is uh, Scott Bowlesby, Chris Wilcox, 136 left to go. 51-36 is your score. Going to be an inbound pass here. Cass City with the ball. Ronaldo almost getting trapped in the backcourt. Oh, taking a hit there. It's going to be Rubel. All fresh subs here for Cass City coming in. It's Coach Ronaldo took the timeout and brought fresh five in. So... Going to be now down low. Dom puts up the shot. Nice job filling that one up and in. Now to make this 51-38. 117 left to go here. Going to be driving this one. Quickly back the other way for Null for Cass City. It's going to lose a handle on it. It's going to go out of bounds. And we'll stay down here for Cass City. Rubel going to go ahead and take it out here on the baseline. Coach Fernald is upset. He says, I'm sitting down. <laughs> Give me an inbound pass here. Rubel trying to get it in. 
And he's going to be able to get that timeout in, Coach Fernald. Coach Fernald shaking his head, looking for his looking for his dry erase marker. Sit down, guys. Let's let's let me do some explaining. There's some explaining to be done. Yeah, uh, we'll see. I mean, 51-38, 107 left to go. I mean, it's all but over, but yeah. you still want to still got some uh, lessons to be taught here. That's for sure. Got to, it's a coaching period, right? Yeah, it's a I coaching mean, period. you got some young players out here. Obviously, you only have two seniors for the Red Hawks, so uh, it's one of those things where you can uh, teach. And, and then you also have Alex Perry, obviously, who's just a uh, – a sophomore as well. Yeah. So you got a couple of sophomores in that huddle that uh, can learn from this, including the coach's son, Bryce Fernald. Anytime you can learn, you're always gaining knowledge, and knowledge is a wealth. Knowledge is power. The Mary Psychological Services, check them out, 872-1800, or stop into their Carroll Cassidy location. I want to thank uh, Harrison Company of Cassidy, Hills and Dales General Hospital. They'll meet you at the corner. Go Red Hawks. DS Services of Cassidy. Copeland Insurance. Go Red Hawks again from Copeland. Insurance. Skip pass inside. It's going to be a shot up by Rubel. No good. Rebounded here by Cassidy. No good. Got a battle for the ball. It's going to be out of bounds off Renault. So it will be Vassar ball. 51-38. 101 left to go here in this final frame. Again, we'll be back with you on Friday night. Your second round of your game of the week as we're going to be having another Greater Thumb West battle between the USA Patriots and the Bad Axe Hatchets. As we could see USA camp off another perfect season, Chris. We absolutely could. Put up the shot. It's going to be good by Ian Hubbard to make this now an 11-point game. 51 seconds left to go. Put on that full-court pressure here. Albrecht going to be right there on for Nald. Trying to follow him here. We'll see who gets the task of following him. It looks like it's going to be Albrecht. No, he's just trying to tap that one away. They're finally going to get a call. And I don't remember Luke having that many falls. So Just no. a second. Yeah. There you go. Very disciplined game there by Luke Albrecht. 51-40, 38 seconds left to go. Perry stepping to the line for two shots. First shot up and off the side of the air. No good. Pizza Perry, as we call him. Pizza Perry, pay dirt Perry. Pay dirt Perry. <laughs> it's another one, yes. Anything. Second shot is up and no, no good. good, but it's going to go into the hands of Cassidy. It's going to go around. Dom's going to come up with it. Rubel is going to pick up a fall. That would be his third, fourth. Yep. That's his fourth. 35 seconds left to go, 11-point game, 51-40. So maybe they'll at least make it look good on paper, if nothing else. Yeah, Rubel had a chance for the putback there. Missed the putback. Uh, Dom gets the board. Dom is going to head to the line down here. He is going to be shooting a one-and-one. One. Shot is up and in and out. Going to be a quick, a quick foul. Uh, rebound went to Shank, and we'll head down here to the other end of the man. How long has this two minutes been? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're at 33 seconds left to go. 11 point game, 51 40. Well, Scotty, we've seen 20 fouls in the first half. We were at 19 right now. Shot is good by Shank. Shot is, second shot's good as well. Fills that up. 53, 40, 33 seconds left to go. Quickly up the other way. They're going to go here. I don't know. Time, time, I guess you can't take them with you. Might as well take them when you're down by 13 with 31 seconds left on the fourth. Wait, what, what game were we at when they <laughs> took a timeout? <laughs> was that the Laker Carroll game? I, I guess it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> we were like, "What? I guess you can't take them with you, so you might as well use them, right? Was, I believe it was like 16 seconds left in the game or something like that. Yeah, and they were yeah. out big. And Anyways, nonetheless, uh, <laughs> trying to read my mentions over here, people. Koch Financial Design of Vassar, building strategies for your financial future. Good luck, Vassar. Notch financial design. Looks like we have a final. Kingston 57, Mayville 23, Evan Neff 21 points, Nathan Cloyd 10 points, Hunter James 9 points. Would that be on 
Twitter? That was on Twitter. Via the tweet from Coach. As it is going to be Albrecht with it now. Long three-point shot here by Hubbard. Fills that one up. There we go. Ten-point game now. 53-43, 19 seconds left to go. Albrecht trying to get the fall here quickly, but he is just going to let Fernald go, and Fernald looks like he's just going to dribble this one out here. Actually, you know it's going to be almost taken away by Hubbard. And yes, it is going to be taken away. Albrecht gets it up to Hubbard. Hubbard going to lay this one up and in. And there we go. Shrinks the lead down to eight. And that'll be your ball game. 53-45. So nothing else. Looks good on paper. We'll take a couple minutes. We'll come back. we got more Game of the Week action for you. It is Classic Rock I-92. And congrats to the Red Hawks on their victory this evening.